Welcome to Dumbo Plex. Yeah. So we all went to um, see the Queen because the Queen's dead. And we all queued up and we went to see the Queen. And I don't know if either of you guys did this, but um, I took a little peek in the coffin. You looked inside? And yeah. And uh, it wasn't the Queen. It was, um, it was Anthony Bourdain. No. Oh, my fucking God. They did a body switch. Like, they compl- You know what? Yeah. They do look exactly alike. They did a crazy makeup job. I don't think they'd have to do a makeup job. I think they look exactly alike. A wig. But, you know, <laughs> kind of all white people look the same to me. Yeah. And as you know, Anthony Bourdain, he died quite a while ago. So Yeah, they aged him. They aged him like a steak in the way that he instructed that he be buried. I saw, I don't know if it was real, but I saw like they've released like a new queen portrait. Did they? And her hair just looks, her hair looks like Mary Berry's. Queen <laughs> she has a hair made of berries. Okay, I saw like, I saw like a fucked up version. What's the new queen portrait? It's just her smiling, looking a bit kind of wolfy. Is that this one? Send it to the thing. Is it that one? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's obviously not that wow, one. No, that be, like fucking, be fucking <laughs> no, serious. No, no, no. Be fucking that serious. Be I want real information. That I want to know what this... If you recall how she died, what she had an anvil okay, for the listener, on her face. For the listener, Harry just sent uh, a very unserious, pic- ugly picture of the Queen. It obviously wasn't that one. So if, you, if you're wondering, oh, who decided to just waste our time on this recording? She had her face crushed by a big piano that dropped from the top of Buckingham Palace. That's not how she died. No, that's how she got all <laughs> fucked up looking in the picture. <laughs> yeah, her eyebrows look like shit in this picture. If done something crazy with her eyebrows. They she, always they're, have they're twisting into an evil manner. Mm. To be honest, it just looks like a photo. I don't really get the point. They've glued them down. It looks like, it looks like um, a drag queen has put like glue stick all <laughs> over her face. That's what they do. That's one, that's one of their many crimes. They attack old women, glue stick yeah. their faces. Do you think she had like Botox? No, the her, queen is not. No, they don't do that regular stuff to like. Her girls. forehead looks really smooth. Though. I mean, they, rub, they rub like monkey gland extract into her muscles and that like makes them contract. <laughs> You like know that's if she kept the monkeys kind of with her corgis? On. Instead of corgis, imagine if she kept monkeys. No, the corgis were the kind of pets that she brought out. What fucking shit did she have in the dungeon? <laughs> <laughs> you know they've got a dungeon. They have to have a dungeon. You know she's got a zoo under there. <laughs> that would actually be sick. Yeah. The Royal Underground Zoo. Although I imagine it would be like one of those like Belgian child zoos from like the 20s. She's got like the, um, like the dog amalgamation from the thing. Locked away in, in the bottom of a, a house. Tower of London, that's it. I'm literally, I just, I want to, I want to fucking laugh, but now I'm scanning my brain for the bit where the dog gets fucking, gets thinged. I don't remember. It's been it's so all the dogs there, the they're in the kennels. They all get merged together into one kind of big slime creature. That's sick. Did you see a uh, color out of space? Yeah, they do it in that with llamas. And it's so Reddit. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's fucking awesome. Yeah. I didn't realize that was a reference. You know who the fucking guy was who directed that? Color Out of Space. Probably a pedophile. No. I, don't, I mean, maybe. He's kind of... He does look a bit like that. He looks more like a druid than a pedophile, but he could be. But, um, no, it was the dude who directed The Island of Dr. Moreau. The, the fu- oh, which one? The like nineties one or whatever, like the eighties, nineties one that was like kind of uh, bad. I like that movie. So it apparently was like insanely bad going, and he actually got fired off it. Like, the guy who was originally directing it, and they brought in a second director to like wrap up. I watch. I haven't seen it, but I watched some whole documentary about it, which is fucking sick. Yeah, I don't think we need to recount that documentary. All right, fuck you. I'm fucking telling a story about <laughs> this guy who fucking. It's a movie podcast. I was trying to do a cool bit about how the Queen is is Jeffrey Epstein in drag, and it just oh, that's went awesome. Out. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, you should mention MK Ultra as well. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. Hey guys, Ted Kaczynski. This guy called... You heard about this? Have you heard this of this guy? This guy Donald Trump, and his hair is crazy. <laughs> okay, that is actually good. <laughs> <laughs> his hair is so crazy. <laughs> 
I can't wait for him to come back and you just get to recycle all the Trump stuff that originally <laughs> happened. Like he's gonna say call yeah. Fifi again or like <laughs> he's gonna <laughs> you're gonna start calling it an orange man. It's gonna be so sick. He needs to start making movies. Well, while he's mm-hmm. president or like like now? I th- I think I mean he's got a few years, hasn't he? He already kinda did. Yeah, they, 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 they like... fucking took him out. They took him out, right? Ooh. They edited him out of Home Alone. Oh, maybe on Disney Plus, but they no, rewrote not... history. They you just got to get a Orwellian well in 1984. Yeah, shit. they're replacing with this little boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was originally about his family going away, and he's just got Trump Tower all yeah. to himself. He's like, I'm, I'm, I'm alone, and he's he's running around, and he's he's fucking having an awesome time. He's setting traps, and then they replace him with this little blonde boy that screams a lot, and it's horrible. Yeah. I can't fucking believe yeah, it. It puts a dark kind of twist on the movie. Nowadays, that little blonde boy wears nail polish. See how things go, you know? Yeah. Yeah. He does like a movie thing, right? Like he he does some movie podcast or something. Oh, yeah, I think so. He was on like Red Letter Media. And yeah, 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 yeah. No, I saw that. He always had a silly little nail polish on. Good for him. Huge. He was probably like the most molested kid ever. Actually, yeah. second most, like to Corey Feldman. What about his brother? His brother? <laughs> like if we're going in like <laughs> world championship molestation, probably like he's like a, he's like second. Yeah, but then his brother was as well, right? So you got to be like a really bad parent to have two of the top three most molested kids ever. Or oh, a very business savvy parent. Hmm. Where do you get that? Much of <laughs> a shark like parent. <laughs> yeah. We watched a movie about a fucking evil parent. Hmm. She wasn't Same very way. evil. She Segway just had time. a beautiful baby boy. I uh, fucking uh, Harry has some kind of thing that he I don't know. He's there's a movie obviously resonated with him in a way. But um, yeah, we watched the baby from 1973, and uh, I picked it, and I thought it was going to be a bit different. I thought it was going to be like I thought the baby being a like an adult was going to be kind of yeah. a big reveal. But it's just like straight straight away. Like yeah, it's, yeah, that's like the whole movie. The, just like yeah, because the woman's like a social worker or something. Yeah, and she's she's just going to see one of her patients, and she gets really invested in this like adult baby. Yeah, for like so you don't really understand why. I mean, you kind of get why. Like it's fucking weird, but she is like unreasonably involved with this with this adult baby man. Should we get into into recounting the plot a bit? Yeah, I, I don't have that many notes for this movie. I've got a fucking bunch because, yeah. to be honest, like I, it's the kind of movie that paid off once it finished. But as I was watching it, I was kind of like not that into it. I'm not even. Yeah. Like, I just kind of thought it was going. It was. It was. You just. It wasn't giving you enough hooks to keep you like interested in the plot. It was kind of just stuff was. I don't know. What do you think? Were you? Were you? In- the baby wasn't giving. <laughs> Was it giving baby? It's giving baby. <laughs> <laughs> that was your thoughts in this movie. It's giving baby. Yeah, he was serv- he was serving baby though. I was looking through my fridge and I saw these like little carrots and little sweet corn. And I was like, it's giving baby. <laughs> Actually, it would be kind of giving giant if you were in the fridge and everything was small. It would be giving giant. Maybe I don't I don't I don't really understand kind of transference and kind of. All these strong kind of, you know, psychological concepts. I think it's just vibe dependent. You just got this whatever comes naturally. So the baby, yeah, huh? Some That's kind of a shit. fucking weird movie, right? Pretty yeah, weird. It was strange. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, it starts with this social worker. Anyone remember what her name is? Oh, I don't think I wrote it down. So. Looking through my notes. Looking through my notes. Anne. Her name was Anne. Anne. Uh, so it's Anne, she's a social worker, and she's been appointed to a household where, like, I think it's implied that Baby, like, do they know that Baby yeah. is an adult? Like, do the social services know that Baby is an adult? Yeah. yeah. So, like, it's like the Wadsworth family, I think. And um, it's like her mother and her two daughters, and then her son is kind of, I think adult Baby isn't the right kind of term, but, like, Oh no! It's not he's, like a. He's, like men- like an- he's mentally a child. Yeah. He's meant. Yeah, he's mentally like an infant. He's been and, uh, stunted. He is an adult baby. Yeah. He dresses like a baby and he plays with baby toys. Yeah. That's an he's, adult. He's baby. kept in this like 
room and he sleeps in like a crib. No, but the difference is he has no feeling about his diapers. He's not a diaper lover. So he, he's not an ABDL. He's just an AB. An oh, I wasn't AB. thinking. See, he's I don't make... neutral, so it's a very important distinction for the, for the context of the movie. I didn't make adult baby sexual. I just meant like he's an adult baby. I, I've just... You say the word adult baby to me. What the <laughs> fuck else am I supposed to think? I say adult baby and your mind goes to sex. Is that? <laughs> yes. Okay. Hey, look, mine, mine goes to beautiful movies that I've watched. See, that's the <laughs> like difference. this movie. Yeah, I think you about art. You have a completely c- cyclical, <laughs> yeah. like self-referential mind. The last thing I watched nice had being adult you. babies in is the last thing I think of. I think of Boss Baby. Uh, little I man. I don't think those are adults. Little man, Boss Baby is definitely not an adult. He. Those are baby adults. Yeah, that's a baby adult. That's not an adult yeah. baby. He's a baby that does business stuff. Whereas yeah, he little does man, adult stuff. Little man, that's an adult baby. He's acting like a baby, but he's an adult. <laughs> does some really adult shit. Yeah, he has. Some, <laughs> he's a baby <laughs> in adult situations. <laughs> so Anne goes to the weird house. There's these two weird girls. Uh, are the girls like kind of suspended? No, like. Are they like stunted in their development as well? Because they kind of act like kids. No, I think I think they're just kind of a bit. They're supposed um, to be weird. Yeah, I thought that as well. I thought yeah. they were supposed to be kind of kids at first, but they kind of lose that immediately because yeah. they can talk. Yeah, and there's the party scene where I like, think there's a bunch of people just show up at their house for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> I just assumed that was like that beautiful family. They're just kind of like cruel and immature. Mm. That's what I think. Like, that's what I mean. Though. They're like immature. They're like immature in a way that feels like similar to the way. Maybe it's thematic. I think it's thematic, right? Like it's whenever the last, the whenever the last um, man let ran out on them, that the, the trauma of that in the family like froze them age wise. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, the, it doesn't reveal that it's an adult. I, you know, they're just talking about the baby, and then they go to the place and like, oh my god, the baby's a a, a man. <sighs> Though you kind of knew that if you saw the poster to the movie. Anyway, there's the reveal that he's a man. Um, They've lost social workers before. They talk about that. Like, there's the last social worker went missing. Yeah, it's a bit mysterious. And the family's just, like, very... The family's just, like, very weird and kind of standoffish and, like... Yeah, I think, like, Anne gets kind of, like, questioned why she's, like... I think it's the mother asks her, like, kind of why she's so interested in baby. Yeah. Uh, the, yeah, the, the guy's just called Baby throughout the film. Mm. That's his name. He doesn't have, like, a normal name. Um, like Bird And she just, like... Yeah, she just, like, says he's, like, a special interest. Yeah. Uh, one of the daughters offers to take her on a hike, like, as she's leaving the house. Like, I think they show her if you're going there a few times. And then as she's leaving, she, like, ominously, like, offers to take her on a hike before she goes, which is showing, like... I don't know. They're just acting very. She says she's a lesbian. Is that what lesbians do? Yeah, they go they go hiking. <laughs> cool. You know, they they go on long walks and kind of wander about. You're thinking of hobbits. <laughs> they eat multiple meals, <laughs> and, they, and, they, and they live in a, a beautiful grassy pasture. Yeah, exactly. They, they live in little live holes in underground, the little houses. Yeah, I think you're thinking of hobbits. And they, and they they smoke these really really long rubber pipes. That's cool. They call it weed. They just call it... I think it has a longer name, but they just say weed in the movie. And, you know, for a guy like me, that's a, that's a, that's a fun moment. Yeah. Uh, so, oh, so she fucking... She goes back to... They ask her about her husband. Like, as she's leaving, the daughter asks her about her husband. Like, what, what you know, what's the makeup of her family and shit? Uh, and her, she said her husband was an architect. And then she doesn't really want to, like, yeah, talk about think... her, though. At the start of the movie, she's like looking through old pictures. I think, or maybe I think she's just looking through pictures of baby. Actually, yeah, no, those were like pictures of fun. baby. Those were very old pictures of baby. Um, but yeah, she she kind of like insinuates that her husband's dead, and uh, mm-hmm. you know she's a bit sad about it. Yeah, she um, she fucking. I just completely lost track of what happened in the movie. One second, I got my notes back up. Yeah, I watched this like a month ago. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know at one point the babysitter's up. Oh yeah, so she lives with um with her husband's mum, like her mother in law and like they're looking at old photos of him. 
like on like a slideshow and she's feeling sad about it. Uh, mm. And then it goes back to the house. He looks like really good. Cell. I feel like the husband looks really cool. That's yeah, just he's like fun. a sailing, like yeah, you know, athletic yeah. Man. He's very nice. He's got that face like people had back before, like the nineties, where you'd be like twenty nine, but you just have like the most wrinkled yeah. face ever, and handsomely <laughs> wrinkled, you know. Yeah, and you have and you have like a like a hunched posture and a big kind of you know overarching brow. He- and uh, you carry a big no, and no, skins. no. I'm being no. I'm saying a normal thing. This is a thing. We're being nice. We're being nice about the man. <laughs> he looked like he could be in like a procedural uh, detective drama. Maybe. What is that? Meanwhile, <laughs> 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 what are you looking at? We're watching Scarlet Witch song. He closed it. I, I just put on Scarlet Witch song. <laughs> it scared me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna, okay, sorry, can't get, yeah. <laughs> get distracted watching the fucking just, Scarlet Witch thing. Just total <laughs> silence so that we can watch the Scarlet Witch bit. <laughs> Six. I don't, I don't remember we were in baby anymore. So there's a fucking babysitter at the house. Yeah. At the oh, yeah. House. And she's Which on is the a phone really to funny her, thing. her boyfriend, who's like, you know, he's probably like the quarterback on the football team. Or, or like, me, maybe it was me. Could have been me on the yeah. phone. Uh, I mean, he's trying to pressure it her into sex. Harry. She's saying no. She's saying no, but he's trying to pressure her into sex. Like, is that something? Could have been me. Could have been me. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Might be. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Hardly comment. It is such. A- <laughs> It's such a funny idea, though. Like, imagine you're babysitting for some family. You go upstairs and it's an adult baby in there. Like, it's just an adult yeah. guy in the crib just as a baby. I'm sure that's happened to multiple people back in, like, the heyday of Craigslist. Yeah. Like, babysitting job, $20 <laughs> an hour, you shut there, and it's just like a grown man. But imagine <laughs> this for a second, if you will, right? So you go upstairs and you've put the adult baby to bed and you call the parents. You say, hey, the adult baby is fine. But can I put something over the creepy clown <laughs> statue in your bedroom, please? Oh, my God. They the, say... The adult clown statue. <laughs> there's no clown in... There's no, there's no adult baby clown statue <laughs> in our bedroom. Get out of there. That's the adult clown serial killer. An adult clown. Okay, okay. What do you do if you're babysitting an adult baby and, like, you hear... An adult clown walks in. Shut the fuck up. No. <laughs> And you're fucking Enough sitting about there the on the sofa, you know, you're doing the thing that babysitters do where they watch like a 1950s horror movie in black and white. Mm-hmm. And then you hear them in the fridge rumbling around, they're drinking beers. Uh, oh, right. You can't tell an adult to not drink beer. It's that's not their, legal. That's their God given right. <laughs> exactly. It's not illegal. They're allowed to do it. No, but no, you no, can't allow a baby to drink beer. You're asking what I would do in this situation? Yeah, hypothetically, what would you do if an adult Crack drank it. beer? Crack another open. <laughs> you'd, you'd Crack another open. The, you'd fall yeah. the adult baby. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be sick. How young were you when you first drank alcohol? I was like 16. I did it late. Okay, that's boring. I know. I'm a boring ass guy. When I was a kid at like a barbecue, my dad gave me so I was like five years old. My dad gave me like four lager shandies and I was like stumbling around. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> sick. <laughs> How old did you say you were? Like five. What if that stunted your growth and that's <laughs> you're now an adult toddler? I'm I'm not. I'm uh, average height. I'm five foot nine. It's average height for. We me. don't know this. We don't know this. I'm, There's no proof I'm of average, this. Right? I'm a normal height. <laughs> okay, for the viewers at home, Anthony just stood up, and surrounding him is play uh, a Power Ranger toys, and no. he's three foot. He's three foot tall. And there's only power in the toys the in his room. Up. I'm five foot nine. And his room has a dragon painted on the wall too. And there's a rat standing next to him and it's taller than there's him. none of that stuff. I'm five foot nine. There's none of that. There's no giant rat in my room. It doesn't make any sense. I'm a normal height. I'm a normal sized man. I'm actually the average global height for a man. <laughs> yeah. I was, I was thinking like in this, in this babysitter scene, like it must have been so embarrassing to play baby. He really liked it. The I guess you just kind of get really over it like, when you're on set. Like, you've been in the I baby don't know. It's costume. Like, it's, re- it's, like, really, like, disturbing because he's, he's acting, like, really, like, strange. He's, really, he's acting really peculiar. Oh, when he's, <laughs> like, when he's acting up, he's trying to get out of the bed and stuff and he's, he's crying and shit. 
Yeah, like, but like, this is his first. The faces that he makes. This is his first gig. You know, he's he's oh. probably giving it his all. No, he liked it. You could tell he very much enjoyed doing what he was doing. Plus, they dubbed right. They dubbed baby noises. He doesn't have to make any noises. That's true. I want to hear the, that's the biggest version, part. It's just yeah. a grown man going like, "Wow!" Just doing Wah. grunts. <laughs> I would just, that would that would really take away from the. I was really buying the illusion of him being a baby. Mm-hmm. But if if you if you edited out that sound, I don't know, and it just it would it would kill the magic of the movie. I I think you could make you could make quite a good comedy by like having this sort of situation, but the guy's just like a normal guy, and his 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 mother his mother and his his sisters just like keep trying to force him to be a baby. Haven't, they've made these movies, right? Little Man? I think might have. I don't no, know. it's not Little Man. Little Man's about a guy pretending to be a baby so he can... Yeah. Little Man's them? about Little Man. I think he's trying to rob them or something. Babies can't rob, so that's just stupid. No, because he's I a would, man. I would pretend to be a burglar. A buggy mirror. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's <laughs> You're fucking... <laughs> Just fucking talk about the film. Where are we in the film? Because my real only memory is the babysitting. Harry, did you scene. write any notes? Did you write any notes? Yeah, look, I got lots of notes. I've got, I've got even a little checklist there. Yeah. And then so all for the of viewers, Harry, Harry, Harry's holding up a big big sheet of paper with a bunch of crayon and kind of scribbled all over it. <laughs> <laughs> Especially just like kind of squiggles and kind of a few wet marks. And I've got... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for the <laughs> audience, Harry just leaned his camera down and revealed a bunch of building blocks with letters on and arranged into his thoughts about the yeah. film. And there's five gold stars in the corner of the paper too. Just, you know, yeah, they're good know. notes. They're good notes is what I'm saying. Um. Yeah, He's not wearing any trousers, but he is sat on a mat. Of the baby's kind of acting up. City. The baby man is acting up, and he doesn't want to go to bed. And she plays with the baby, uh, and then she like oh, fucking. Yeah. Uh, she like throws a bear at him. She breastfeeds him. She's like he sucks her tit. Mm-hmm. He sucks the baby's tit. Oh I, yeah, yeah, he like he like hits his head on the mantle, and then she like breastfeeds him. I yeah, think it's, then, it's it's unfair to say that uh, she uh, that's really what wants to do. breastfeed him. He wants to be breastfed really bad. She doesn't want it that much, yeah. but she does. She kind of leans her. into it at the end. Yeah. She does kind of. She get, does. Yeah. It's very true. Like, and the fucking uh, then they find her and they beat the shit out of her. The Wadsworth family, that is. Yeah, the fam. She gets they beat the shit out of the of the of the babysitter. Oh, and the the, the babysitter. Yeah, they, don't, they don't want any pedophiles in the house. Well, she is a pedophile because the babysitter says we were just fooling around. Which is what you say when you're having sex. Yeah, that is what you say when you're having sex. The child. So I think, <laughs> yeah. So she was, she wanted that, and it was sexual for her, and that's been proven. Yeah, she's basically the biggest villain in the whole in the whole thing. She's one of them. Um, after that, fucking Anne. I guess it cuts to in my notes. It just says it, <laughs> it cuts to Anne being back at their house. Yeah, and they got baby. Um, I think outside, oh, yeah. in like a little yeah. kind of outdoor crib, like a yeah. rabbit's room. She she brings him. She brings him like a, a toy lion, but she calls it a tiger. And I think this is, um, you know, a cinematic technique to show that she's uh, an idiot. Oh, she's an unreliable narrator. <laughs> Interesting. I didn't pick up on that. It's to, it's to show that she didn't she didn't do very well at school. Yeah. She she's she mis misidentifies like basic animals. Yeah, maybe she's the real baby. That's actually foreshadowing. You know, the ending. Yeah, look at all these chickens. That's so true. When when baby is outside, baby kind of acts a bit like a dog, though. <laughs> you kind of have like a a lot of the things yeah, you no, do but, with them is similar to what you do. But <laughs> Anne is Anne is making baby fetch. Yeah, you, baby's I mean, fetch. Baby's fetch. Babies. Yeah, but you don't say fetch. Maybe. I don't know. You Have could. you been around many children? Yeah, I would say go get it. I would speak with full sentence. Your dog okay, doesn't have to learn to speak. When you're talking to your classmates in, in nursery, you know, where you have yep. to go, yep. do you, do you, would you not say fetch to them? No, I would say go, go get it. I would stand up tall as I can and say, go get it, boy. <laughs> Damn. Uh, you're I, the alpha, well, you're the alpha <laughs> of the babies. <laughs> Let's just say I control this preschool. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, Harry's the only child that doesn't say woof or, or yip yip. <laughs> <laughs> Buggy daycare. Um, did you guys go to preschool? Did everyone go to preschool? <laughs> yeah, I'm still I'm still there. I've I've failed every year consecutively, and I'm still there. <laughs> I went to preschool at a church. I'm like the man in that bitch. Like, have you seen Mac and Devon go to high school? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Snoop Dogg? He has, like, yeah. the lemon jacket with all the ears on it. That's me if I'm going to nursery and I've been there for, like, fucking 20 years. <laughs> Just, like, I sell the little baby's weed and shit. And I'm like, yo, what's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> You're, like, so yeah. used to it. You don't even watch where you stand yeah, anymore. And I, You're I've kicking got, like, babies what, over. And, like, I hook up one of the cool babies. I'm like, yo, what's up, nephew? And we, like, hang out. And we smoke weed together and shit. It's fucking awesome. Yeah, you're just like Mac or Devin. Yeah. I'm literally Mac and Devin. I think he's getting so good at, at colors now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I can put the shapes in the holes, like, just fucking instantly. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think Anne tries to make Baby walk. And that makes the Wadsworth family really angry. Yeah. So they hit Baby with a cattle prod. Yeah, where the fuck did they get a cattle prod from? Right? Why like, buy those? I think so. If we... Ca- okay. When the weed quick episode Google happens... Search, quick Google search. Uh, if- duh, duh, cattle prod. Yeah, how much does a cattle prod sale cost? sale UK. Uh, you can buy a cattle prod for £25. Okay. Buy free cattle prods. When we do the weed episode... <laughs> and you'll get a castle prod. Yeah. Just for fun. I wonder, if she, I wonder if she can get, like, kind of remote control ones. Like a so remote control collar? have one remote and, and, oh, and one cattle prod. Like shot one. Two, two remotes and one cattle prod. Like, we need shot collars whenever someone yeah. does, like, a bad bit that doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> and then just, like, it corrects our behavior. And, like, five episodes later, we're just fucking boom, boom, boom. We're just, like, little singers <laughs> nonstop. <laughs> we could set up, like, Raspberry Pi uh, sort of systems and they could do little triggers and then it pulls the cattle yeah prod. That would ba- be good. based on the amount of dead air after someone makes a joke yeah. like then you get yeah. shocked like that, right <laughs> then, that would have been a fucking shock right there that would have been game over for me i'm seriously even looking at this though how much is four thousand volts i'm seriously looking into my cattle prod raspberry pi system right now no dude no, no like when, just i'm just saying like the fucking they're like 25 quid how fun would how this many, be to poke someone with how many volts in a taser Fifty thousand. that's fucking four thousand is gonna be fucking nothing then compared to 50, well that's the point well no because i think fifth, fifth uh, the the tasers are supposed to like incapacitate but oh yeah you, like, a prod is just to annoy a prod yeah. just to annoy Put a cattle prod to my neck. I'm, oh, I'm out for the count. I'm giving up. <laughs> You're packing your bags again, huh? It is. It's true. I'm I think. I think when we get a uh, when we get a studio in Hackney or, or in a <laughs> shard or something, yeah. we should um the top we should of get the a shard. cattle grid in, installed. Not so cows can get can't get in or can get in. What happens <laughs> with the cow grid? It's, um, if you've got trotters, you fall through. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> okay, well, I think it could protect us from a, a lot of different people. If. Why is this not. St- why is this not standard issue? You know, I've never even heard about this. Why is this not just in every office? <laughs> I was going to say, why is this nostalgic? Why is that nostalgic? No, that's, not, that's not nostalgic why, at all. Uh, why, is, <laughs> why is Anthony nostalgic for cattle prods? Wait, why do I remember cattle prods? <laughs> Oh, look at this. There's bike people falling into cattle birds. <laughs> he he grew awesome. up on a farm sucking on a cow's udder. Shut up. No, getting I a, didn't. Getting a, getting a mouthful of pus. He loved it. Raw milk isn't a thing here, is it? It's not. We don't have, like, raw milk people. I'm sure we do. It comes uh, out raw. Someone no, but, it. like, yeah. But in America, that's, like, a thing where they, like, get weird about raw milk. And some people are, like, fucking, and they get all, you know... Like paleo um, caveman guy. They get, all, they get yeah. all kooky. They do. They get weird about it. They get all kooky. I feel like, um, I don't know if that still exists, but I think I'm just kind of out of touch with, you know, the raw milk community. Oh, wait, you can just buy it here. It's legal in England. I might try it. Try it. Give it a go. Yeah. So um, Anne, Anne wants to take baby to, uh, I've got our word clinic written down. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, for that scene, I wrote Bobby in the helmet. They go to a disability school, but it says exceptional children outside. And I come where I come from, exceptional means really good at what they do. So I don't know these, if uh, yeah, I don't know yeah. if these these kids could really be classed as that because they are far from good at what they do, which is I'm not, not I'm much. I'm not saying that they're not good at what but, you know at what they do, but Josh wouldn't call them exceptional. <laughs> I don't use a different word for it. Or they didn't show any they didn't show any prowess or anything in the, in the scene. Exactly. So. They didn't exactly impressive. steal the show. <laughs> they didn't really try to do anything. <laughs> yeah. That scene is kind of that scene. It's like the most. It could have been the most awesome scene in the movie if they had the adult baby come in and interact with the babies. But ah, oh, that'd be that cool. Was, yeah, that would have been awesome. But instead, they just don't show up. Um, they don't yeah, take. Baby I, I was to, thinking. Um, to class. It'd be like you know you get like nurses on TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it'd be it'd be interesting to watch Anne with a TikTok. See what her TikTok would be what? like. If Anne was making short videos, you know, showing, oh, like, you know, showing baby, this, this is the baby that I'm care- taking care this of. This is the adult baby that I'm taking care of. Yeah, maybe, <laughs> I guess. That would be, there's got to be some awful fucking content like that, like like TikTok social <laughs> workers. Yeah. That's that's an interesting search right there. And she would definitely say it's giving baby. I don't have TikTok, like, an account. Can you search stuff on it? Hashtag social worker. If you do hashtag social worker, you'll just get social workers complaining they don't get paid enough. Do you um do you hashtag the baby? Hashtag the baby. Oh yeah, if they made this movie nowadays, that's what everyone would think it was about. Yeah. The rapper the baby. I wrote that. That's in my notes. Is that she? Yeah. <laughs> Is that really in your notes? I wrote that she's sucks. gonna be she's gonna be the baby's new worker, and that was the first thing I wrote. <laughs> yeah, cool. It, it, you could make a pretty good movie out of you know the baby. Yes, he, he has to sell his differences, and he has to you know he has to work it out with a a gay man with AIDS. Yeah, and he has to <laughs> pretend to be a baby. A gay man with AIDS whose arms are just like stuck up in the air. Yeah, he probably the baby community is probably mad at him as well for like you know stealing their stealing their shine. <laughs> Don't call yourself the baby if you're not wearing a bonnet. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> if you've ne- if you haven't fucking shit your diaper in like twenty years, don't even don't even call yourself a baby. Is um is Jermaine one of the daughters? I don't remember what they're called. Yeah. I think I think maybe because um I've got a note that says that she gets into baby baby's like crib naked. Oh yeah, well yeah, one of the daughters gets into baby's crib mm. naked. Now, that's in my notes. Uh, it says, "Why is she naked?" Yeah. That's the brown head one. <laughs> Why is she naked? She's yeah. She's... Is she is she doing stuff to the baby? What are you looking at? Listening to fucking social worker tweets. <laughs> Social worker TikTok. It's fucking. I wish I could show you guys this because they're just doing a lot of complaining. I told you they're just complain. They're huge complainers. <clears throat> um. Sorry, I'm gonna stop looking at. I'm gonna stop being distracted by by social worker TikTok. <laughs> yeah. Oh, one of them's called Alba. One of them's called Alba. The the the, the blonde girl. The blonde daughter is yeah. called Alba. And the brown head one is Jimmy. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they get back. Uh, they don't take baby to to the exceptional school of the exceptionally gifted, and then Professor and Xavier's the school for awesome children, for tiny little adults. Uh, yeah, they try. <laughs> she goes to the home and she wants to confront the Wadsworth, which is when I realized like how cool their outfits all are. They have really good outfits, like all of them. It's 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 a very seventies movie, you know. They've all got a big yeah. set, yeah. especially the daughters. They've got like big seventies hair and shit. Yeah, yeah. And then the there's a scene where they make I, their I own think, clothes. I wasn't that crazy on the outfits, but I think yeah, the hair was really huge. Um, so the bo- the boss of social services isn't really taking like her shit seriously. She keeps there's there's these scenes intersected where she goes and talks to like her boss, and. He fucking yeah. He's just like he just doesn't give a fuck the whole time. He's just like, <laughs> well, 
I can't remember what you say, but, but anyway, she's like talking, and then she gets a complaint. They've, there's been a complaint made about her by the Woodsworth family. Yeah, Mama calls up, gets her taken off the case, and uh, but she's not deterred. Then, well, she gets invited back from a party. Yeah, because she tells because she calls them up and she tells them that the she's told she's going to tell the public guardian about this, and then they're going to have to go to court. Mm. And then anyway, so. They go, yeah. They go to a party. It's baby's birthday. The babysitter is there. Um, yeah. Wait, no. Is the babysitter there? Yeah, she's in the background. Well, the one that they beat the shit out of. Yeah, it's never mentioned, but the babysitter is there. I think they just ran out of actors. But... Yeah, that's probably just. So what I don't get is like, who are these guys? Who are all these like hippies and shit hanging out in the house? A bunch of long hairs. I think they were just their family. I, I don't know. Hippie, hippies go to crazy shit. Mm. Like, yeah. yeah, imagine your your fucking friend tells you, like, oh, do you want to go to this weird house? <laughs> it's, it's, it's this mom and her gosh, like, family, they're all shut ins. It's the birthday party for this adult baby. <laughs> the adult baby's just crawling around the party. Yeah, the whole exactly. Time. Imagine you're fucking awesome. tripping off, like, awesome 70s acid, and you look down and you <laughs> yeah. see this, like, grown man baby. I would just kill him. <laughs> it's it's like him trying to, death. to chew on your, like, shoelaces. Yeah, I would kick him to death. <laughs> And just like, yeah, baby, yeah, that's spaghetti. Oh, yeah, and then you fucking... And then the dude's, like, trying to fuck the Alba, the one who's, like, the definitely the more childish out of the two daughters. Is that, is that like, Dennis? Ed, like, fucking... Is it I don't know who the fuck Dennis is, but it's the one, well, that, it's she like, to, the one that she gets to... she gets to burn with a lighter. He burns himself with a lighter. Yeah. There's, like, one important think, guy in the party scenes, and it's... Yeah. yeah, I think the guy in this scene is called Dennis, and he's just, like, smoking mm. weed at the party. And, uh... Okay, now, now I can relate to Dennis's character. He sounds cool. Yeah, and, and plays darts. Yeah, they spike her drink. They replace it. They swap her drink out, and she yeah, she spike her drink with with dart dart fluid. Make her really good at darts. Yeah, they give her Michael's special stuff from Space Jam, and she becomes awesome at darts. No, they give her knockout juice. <laughs> no, <gets> fucking, <laughs> she gets she gets knocked out, and she ends up in the basement. <laughs> And they're gonna like yeah. they're gonna kill her. Yeah. And then baby gets down there or something. Yeah, baby rescues. Baby yeah, comes. Yeah, he goes to comes to the baby rescue and it's kind of an aggravating scene though. She's just lying on the ground screaming at baby what to do, and baby doesn't do it. Uh and that's the whole scene. Until I think she just gets loose. Or baby does something, maybe. I'm not sure. Uh and then baby starts eating sweets off of his hands. Looks a bit like Elf. Yeah, I, I quite like this scene. She's like, she's like so desperate, and Baby's just like, just doing his little like confused little baby face. Yeah, he's just going. Ooh, ooh. It really conveys the frustrations yeah. of of trying to negotiate with an adult baby. <laughs> yeah. I hate it when I'm tied up and I'm trying to get a baby to kind of, you know, grab grab the scissors and undo yeah, my knot. You, yeah, a baby's not going to help you in any situation. Uh, so she escapes with the baby. Yeah, she right, takes right. Baby. Like they get up yeah. and they get out. Yeah, they get baby out. Um, she takes baby home and then puts baby in a suit. Yeah, she's uh, making him into a man. Yeah, she's, she's she aging says, him up. She says, "I am in the process of making baby a grown man." <laughs> uh, which, <laughs> no, it sort of so sounds like she's gonna like transform him into have a you creature. Got, but... Harry, have you grown your suit yet? Grown my suit? No, not yet. I'm trying. Well. I haven't. I've still. I don't feel like a man until I grow my suit. Yeah, I just can't do it. <laughs> it's just. It's just woven body hair. Yeah. <laughs> once you. It's, once a man is fully enough. reached. Once a man's fully reached sexual maturity, a, a suit will just appear on them. The hairdresser keeps taking my baby, my my adult suit off, <laughs> shaving it off. <laughs> he says I'm not ready. <laughs> Um, yeah, she like she like puts him in a suit and like takes a photo. She's like propped him up on a chair so that he's like sort of like standing in like a really weird way. <laughs> he's got all like buckled knees and shit. Yeah, it looks like a not. It looks like a fucking hostage picture. They're like showing that you didn't draw, <laughs> you didn't drill holes in his knees. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, he's fine. Give us the money. Yeah, yeah uh, and she sends that picture to the family. And then the sisters break into Anne's house. Yeah, and then in the dead of night. 
and the mom's waiting about. in the call. Yeah, the sneaking, the sneaking about reminds me of. You're so sneaky. It kind of reminded me of that scene at the end of Silence of the Lambs where they're like sneaking around, like the guy with the knife. I guess there's no night vision though. Anyway, they're fucking cheer up. Like, they're walking around. And there's <laughs> oh, no night vision. It's completely different. It is completely different. There's no. There's no, there's no lambs in this movie. They fucking. The mom is like trying to talk to. Wait, no, 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 no. So do they die first? Before the yeah, the mom's sat in the car and yeah. then she, she comes in after a while and the sisters are both dead. Yeah, so one of them's sneaking around uh, and then yeah. she gets like stabbed They've or been something. Stabbed. And the mother-in-law jumps in, like, and, and has like an axe or something, and like oh, attacks yeah. attacks baby's mother, and like she breaks her leg. Yeah, she breaks her leg. Does she like fall backwards down the stairs or something? I think so. The fight scene was all kind of a blur. They just had a, they had really funny faces. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, it was a funny. I fight feel scene like at this point, it. I was kind of like, I'm kind of done with this. Yeah, <laughs> I wanted to. This is when I started watching a 1.25 speed. <laughs> I literally sped it up. I was okay. Let's get to the end of this movie. I watched the whole thing with full attention, which is why I'm oh, so talkative in this one. Um, yeah. So they won the fight. They got rid of the Wardsworth family. They're dead. Dead and buried. Yeah. There was something to do with like, like they're getting a swimming pool put in in their back garden or something, yeah. and then they got to bury them in that. Uh, and then the workers will come tomorrow. And Oh, yeah. You know, yeah, they bury them at the bottom before the concrete yeah, gets poured. That was oh. like a plot point earlier in the movie. They're like talking yeah. about getting a But e- even before. earlier in the movie, Anne says, can you think of anything worse than being buried alive? I don't remember what... Oh, yeah, because you know, she's comparing the, the baby's life oh, yeah, to being buried yeah. alive. Yeah, and then she buries Mama alive, which is Mama Wadsworth. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah. Um, and then, and then the, the big only reveal. thing, yeah, the only reveal, the only thing you cared about the entire movie, her husband isn't That's dead. Crazy. Her husband is another adult baby that really yeah, wants a friend yeah, adult baby. He's been lobotomized and babyfied. Yeah. Like she, yeah. Yeah. I guess, like maybe he like wanted to leave her or something, or like you know. No, I think. Oh, no, I thought it was a real accident. I think it was a real accident. Yeah. I think oh, the accident yeah, thing is an true, accident, yeah. and he got brain damage. Oh, so yeah. they just—he just has the brain of a baby now. Yeah. Okay, that's actually that's that's slightly less sinister. She didn't baby fight yeah. either of these guys. I thought it was yeah. going to be the trying she, to like, demonize this. this I thought it woman. was like that. That she like lobotomized her husband. Hey, if you show me someone who's fucking stupid and they've got a big bandage on the head, I'm going to assume <laughs> cut out part of their brain. No, the car crashed. Yeah, there. blame it. Blame it on the wife. Yeah, well, to that's exactly what I thought. She's like not that evil. She's like not evil at all, actually. Well, she's like she killed the most evil people in the movie, and then the baby's just gonna have a baby life with this with this other yeah. baby man. No, this movie just tells you that. Oh my god! Imagine what two old men babies are like. That's gonna be so annoying. <laughs> That's gonna fucking suck. And you're an old person as well. How do you get new? How do you enlist new people to take care of them? How do you like explain to a nurse like, oh yeah, so these are these two like elderly baby men. The one I used to be married to this one, and this one I kidnapped. <laughs> so you gotta like help me like change them and shit. I don't know. I think depending on their diet, I think they might die pretty soon. What if it's like if you put a baby out in the wild and they got raised by wolves? Like you can put an adult baby out in the wild and then they get raised by wolves and they just and they turn into a cartoon. Yeah, they can be an adult. I think an adult, adult baby would take club. to her better because um, they'd be stronger against yeah, the wolves. Yeah, they'd be able to. Yeah, they could fight off the wolves if they tried anything. Because I don't know. Yeah, they could, they could, assert, they could the assert their place in the pack. Imagine an adult baby that is the alpha of a wolf pack. You could write an awesome graphic novel <laughs> about this. <laughs> well, I might, I might get started. Um, yeah. yeah, I don't know. The movie's just like. <laughs> Men shouldn't get brain injuries because women will do demented and evil things. That's so true. So they They'll have to. They should, baby. What they should do is they should wear a helmet like the guy in the exceptional school war. Every man should wear a helmet all the time, so yeah. that if they get in a car crash or something, <laughs> or you know, they won't turn into an adult baby, and the women can't do demented and evil things. Um, this is, this that is, that is actually society. true. Women are so evil in this movie. They really are. Because they're, they're, they're the all men women are, in this The movie. men are all completely innocent. They're innocent little babies. 
Apart from that one, you know, no, even the one guy, he's just trying to get laid and she's just being weird. Yeah. And like, he tries to save Anne. Men are so completely innocent in this bit. movie. It's it's good. It's refreshing. Yeah. Wow. It's yeah. I think my, my last note of this is that I just found this movie quite disgusting. Oh, I yeah. I have a note before. that says this movie was made for 70s degenerates. Like this movie was exclusively made to be shown at like midnight showings, like uh, fucking yeah, yeah. bad seventies movies. How movie crazy theaters. this is! Yeah, exactly. It's just a movie made to like be shocking. Yeah, come come watch two adult babies have a nice time in the pool. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they, that, well, that should be the sequel. Oh a, yeah, but for, play date. I forgot about the pool scene. That was incredible. I love the pool scene. I thought it ended when like it's revealed that he's the baby, but yeah, they get in the pool. I don't remember the next that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's I think awesome! The last shot is just it's, yeah. um, Anne, and then her husband and her husband's mother and baby, yeah. just like having a nice time in the pool. That's awesome! How sweet! So it's kind of a good ending. I don't really know yeah. why he still it's a has happy film. It would, yeah, it's a yeah. I don't know why the husband still has the wraps around his head though. I thought he got injured a long time ago. But, that's actually yeah. holding his head together. <laughs> it might be. He shouldn't yeah, be in the fucking falls pool. Apart, if not. If he gets him a pool, the water and the chlorine's going to leak in there. He's going to get even younger. <laughs> he has a he's an adult like newborn. Baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we've got a bit of time left. So why don't we try and figure out what the sequel could be? Oh, yeah, um, definitely. You know, 50 years later, it's going to come out next year. Um, okay, so what's the... I, I, I quite like the idea of um, Anne, she starts kind of, you know, she, I think her mind's kind of fading and she starts acting a bit like a baby. <laughs> so maybe she's maybe she's like, you know, uh, making breakfast or something. She's making breakfast and she blends it all up. What's the, what's the tension in the movie? Well, it's kind of like a decline and then she doesn't know what reality is. You know, it's kind of like a, a Roman Polanski film. This is a bit too. It's a bit more introspective than the original baby was. I think the baby is quite introspective. I think you're losing the spirit. Mm-hmm. I think. I think it's about where's the where's the freak show element? Maybe a freak show comes to town, <laughs> <laughs> and she falls in love with a freak. Baby goes to the freak show, and she starts cheating on a baby husband with the freak. Okay, so here's my here's my idea for baby two, the the changing. The changing. That's just my. That's just my. You know, working title. <laughs> oh, uh, and she has to change his nappy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's, that's exactly the change. Like, so it's about it's it's set like in in 2010, and the it's actually about the person who runs the exceptional school with shifted characters, uh, <laughs> and they have a special wi- they have a special wing for adult babies after the like they did work with baby. They have a special adult baby wing. And a journalist goes undercover to like find out like if they're actually trying to rehabilitate them or if they're like you know just keeping them keeping them babyfied, and it's like you know one for just a whole new cast. Yeah, it's a whole new cast. There's there's maybe references you know to the previous film, but like I think enough mm. times passed, we were just expanding the universe, you know. So there's, you know, the, the reporter like goes undercover and it's kind of like one flew over the cuckoo's nest, like, you know, there's evil nurses and they, and they, they baby fight him, you know, while he's trying to investigate and escape and shit. Okay. I would take it in a more like Herbie goes to the races type direction. <laughs> okay. So like maybe the first one, baby goes to the races. Uh, <laughs> Christian Bale. No, you don't just make the racing. adult baby into a character. No, 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 just no, like, no, wait, wait. Baby, you can't just do Look, baby versus... They're still the baby. Man. Well, they're still baby. <laughs> they're still baby. It's So Christian Bale plays baby. Maybe, like, Michael Douglas plays the husband baby. Fucking uh, but now it's sort of like a wacky racist type deal, but real. <laughs> and they're babies. So they drive the same car. The drive racing. The car. Yeah, yeah. If, you, in, like, if, if me and you were in a fucking... If we were in an elevator right now with the Coen brothers... <laughs> Yeah. You wouldn't. They would fucking turn their noses up at you and spit on you. Whereas me, they'd be taking me out for a caviar dinner to listen to my bitch. Yeah, because they don't care. They already know that Steven Spielberg has optioned this story. Spielberg wouldn't this. Spielberg wouldn't fucking touch that shit. Spielberg wouldn't have anything to do with that. No, Spielberg, Spielberg would have <laughs> locks in his vault if you even if you even darkened. Yeah, because he'd, he'd be scared. Yeah. He'd lock me in the vault so nobody else can get to my brilliant ideas. He'd get ET to kill you. The real life ET. <laughs> 
His weird finger would touch you and you'd die oh, instantly. No. E.T. Would be, e. would be locked in there with me so that if I died, E.T. can bring me back to life with his healing finger so that I can keep churning out baby goes to the races, baby goes to finger? Monte Carlo. I've got a great idea. Yeah. So I watched um, I watched Steven Spielberg's Catch Me If You Can uh, yesterday, I think. Mm-hmm. And we could kind of combine that with baby's uh, big day out. Change me if you can. And he's running around with a shitty diaper all the time. Yeah. Well, so the so baby is walking up. He's he's got loose. He's escaped the the facility, <laughs> and uh, he's going all around the city. And he's climbing on all this kind of you know scaffolding. And he's going through tunnels. He's getting on on planes and stuff, but just by accident because he just crawls on. Have you guys got? Uh, and, uh, and she's trying to track him down. Have you got watch together open? I do. Yeah. I'm just gonna type adult baby in. <laughs> see what fucking comes up. <laughs> Or you could do it in a, in a slasher direction too, where like you know how sometimes in slashes they go to like a rural home and a, an old couple has been living there for ages. But in this one, the old couple mm. is the two adult babies, but they're old now. Uh, a little bit like that, I think, is a good idea. And they think that they're trying to kill them, but they're just trying to, you know, have a bit of milk. Play, yeah, they're trying to. Play. The keyword, okay. the keyword, babies, really ruining the search. Stuff, stuff coming up for babies. <laughs> You have to like asterisk the adult part, so it has to have adult. Um, I mean, Harry, maybe you could base it on a your own uni experience with babies. Oh, I don't think I've met very many babies here. <laughs> I don't have very many babies in my class. <laughs> no, you, you have room, your housemate. Oh, oh, okay. No, that could work too. Yeah, maybe like maybe adults that are acting like babies meet the <laughs> adult babies. <laughs> And they sort of hell. I mean, well, hell could break loose from that. Um, I, I thought you were going to tell your story. Oh yeah, I don't know. They just they used to when I have to live in a shed flat. Um, my flatmate and his girlfriend would sort of do a lot of childish sort of baby activities, such as coloring books. And they had a paddling pool in the oh, shed yeah. living area. Um, they would do Legos and fun they would fucking watch children's <laughs> movies. Um, yeah. He also decorated the flat for um, the Queen's Jubilee with lots of Union Jacks uh, and a flag. Um, that's childish in itself. That's yeah. That's that's more of that's more of a baby activity than anything. Um, uh, he was a Welsh a Welsh Conservative voter. Oh, what the fuck! That's one of the most evil things I've ever heard. Yeah, very. He was very proud of that. But hey, onwards and upwards. And he said the N-word. So, Marcus, this is a cool out. <laughs> this is a cool He's a racist baby. It's actually quite That's crazy. Horrible. Everybody in my flat said it. Everybody. It was crazy. Everybody? How many yeah, people I don't know what I walked into. Three other people. Hard wow. R or soft and R? Hard? What the fuck? Hard. Wow. What the fuck? Hard and often. Hard what and fucking, often. What fucking uni did you go to? Fucking screwdriver <laughs> university. Yeah. I'm the only. I'm the only true progressive. Here, right okay, I'm so why there. is this not? Why is this not censored? What the fuck is this? Oh, I'm not, I'm not looking. This is disgusting. Oh my! This wanna, is cute. I want to kill this guy. Oh, this is crazy. This is racial as well. Yeah, it's racial. Everyone on YouTube, just type in black lady with adult baby, me in my high chair feed time. Yep. I think oh, you, you, got can't, our, uh... you can't direct while you're being a baby. And also, why is the... Well, he did. He was like, why is sure, she... I'm going to cry first. Okay, sure. why is I'll she a nurse? Why is she like a medical type nurse? They She's a sexy babies nurse. babies at hospitals. I don't think they should do sexy nurse and baby, because the baby wouldn't care <laughs> if The craziest thing is, you know the guy in this video is like some fucking high-powered CEO. Yeah. Uh, this is the kind of, like, the people who, like, buy the stuff. I don't know about that. I th- the kind of people who, like, buy a whole, they have a setup and they, like, you know, they're paying I, someone enough. to act this situation out with them. They're, like, yeah, fucking loaded. This is where your rent money goes. Yeah. So we have, um, we have, a, we have a kind of sissy type character. And there's a, a big kind of alphabet kind of shower curtain strung up behind them. And they yeah. sat in a high chair. It's kind of disgusting, me. Why is she, why is she saying good boy when he's clearly wearing pink, a pink dress? Uh, it's kind of yeah, meta. I it, wasn't that like back in the olden days? It was like pre-World War II. It was like blue was the girl color. No, no, he's got nail polish and makeup on. He, he's wearing makeup uh, was, and a wig. Didn't girls, didn't boys used to wear makeup as kids? 
back in the olden days. Didn't, didn't, didn't boys used to be babies? Yeah. <laughs> this is fucking annoying. Just grow up, okay? Literally. Got a job, hippie. I'm sick of babies. I gotta think about fucking man stuff now. I gotta go fucking. Let's put some lock cutting. Lock cutting. Yeah, I gotta go buy some links deodorant, oh. probably. And read a copy of FHM. I'll go watch the football. 30 babies seconds. watch football. 29, 28, 27. What are you counting? <laughs> I'm on an hour and a minute. Oh, fuck you then. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.